Now look, all I'm saying is Rockstar, they're missing out. They could easily do this as the casino heist vault loot instead of the diamonds. Could you imagine if they had toilet paper as the vault loot that gave you four million dollars? That's what the world's coming to at the moment. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another Rockstar Logic. Man, oh man, how crazy is the world we live in? Of course, real quick, hope everyone is okay and is following all the orders. We don't want any any sort of nonsense happening to anyone. So let's just all game in peace and imagine those diamonds in the casino heist are rolls of toilet paper. Now it has been a few weeks since we've done one of these and uh, you guys, you already know, we got some good old Rockstar logic. Rockstar, they never fail to produce. This was posted a couple of weeks ago in one of their Newsweek events. The Runer 2000 was at a discount. But if we take a look, a closer look at the car, that's not even the Runer 2000. That's the regular Runer, which is a completely different vehicle. And then things like these. This is what up this is what upsets me. Now look, I, I'll admit, the Strider is the worst vehicle I think Rox has ever made and added to the game. It is complete crap. But look at the top picture. That is from one of their ads. And guess what? It's got black rims. So you see that ad and you're like, man, that actually looks kind of cool. I'm not, you know, I'm gonna buy that. But no, you get into the game and that game doesn't even allow you to color the rims. They're literally misinforming everyone with that top picture. I want my money back, Rockstar. Someone figure this out. Apparently, you can actually use your Invade and Persuade RC little mini tank in the original heists. You can choose it as a personal vehicle. But guess what? You can't drive them because it's a freaking mini tank. Geniuses over at Rockstar. No, actually, this is truly what geniuses do. They put a mission in the game and give you a truck to use for said mission, but it doesn't fit and it can't get to the end. This is the only way to get in and it cannot fit in the friggin' fence. But hey, I'd rather maybe that last one than we have this clip. The game just doesn't even want to let him sell anything. This might be worse. He's standing in the circle, yet nothing's happening. Shark cards for life. But these clips get even better. I don't know which one's worse. Let me know in the comment section down below. But this guy, he is sitting. He's freaking sitting on his sofa in his own apartment, literally watching TV, doing nothing. And yeah, you guessed it, the cops decide to come after him. Dude, what was he doing? That deserved cops. Here's another solid one. As you can clearly see, this dude is outside on the yacht. Out freaking side. But when he goes into his interaction menu to drop ballistic ammo, it says it's unavailable indoors. Over the last few weeks, we've gone over a couple of Rockstar Logics inside of the arcade. Well, here's another one. Check out this door. This door, the hinges are on backwards. There is no freaking handle. So how does it open? Who makes a door that only apparently opens up from the inside? <laughs> but 
And then the final one, this clip, I don't know, fences are magic in this game. Some of them can't get destroyed and are invincible. And I guess others are just freaking transparent. I don't even know the right word. The fence just goes right through the freaking railroad thing there. Who makes this stuff is what I want to know. Well, that is it with this week's episode of the Rockstar Logic. Thank you all for watching. Might not be one of these for, you know, a week or so, but if you have your own Rockstar Logics you want to submit, then tweet them with the hashtag Rockstar Logic and I will see it. Or you, you can leave it in the comment section below. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys stay safe in the midst of all this craziness going on. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.